day two and it's so early. <laughs> I have to be really quiet because otherwise a boy in pajamas is gonna bust in. You might be looking at me and thinking, wow, that deteriorated quickly. I did promise myself that I would brush my hair this year. It's not gonna happen. It's too early. It's too early and it's still Lent, so it can't. It can't happen. <laughs> um, one of the comments I hear most often lately that I really just love is, um, like, it's a question. Why should I do Lent when the pandemic is already Lent forever? Like, I already live in this place of not enoughness. I'm already hyper aware of uh, the rage and sorrow and um, general apocalypse that we live in. So why do I have to why do I have to do it any more than I'm already doing it? Um, also, in related news, there's not enough. I'm still not a great homeschooling instructor, a person who keeps a fabulous tone of voice, even while irritated, um, Zoom communicator and email doer. Um, at the very best like those are just like really and those are those are like Those are non-apocalyptic problems How do I be here now that I'm exhausted? That sounds about right. <laughs> that sounds about right Because <laughs> there's nothing um, We've been stripped down to nothing now. I mean some of us far more than others but there's just that constant feeling that um, That if there was extra, it's just not this. Lent is, um, Lent is the, Lent is that. Lent is that. Lent is sometimes for some people a season. For the earth now, it's a, it's a series, it's a plague. It's a series of years that cycle through that we just haven't had in modern memory. Um, for others, it's an event. Uh, Lent is what they walk through when they have a before and an after. But sooner or later, we all get here to the place where there is not enough. And we are, um, we are aware of two things at the same time. That things are genuinely terrible and that we cannot be convinced otherwise. <laughs> I agree. Agreed. Um, all I can hear is little feet. And then things are wonderful. It didn't matter how sick I was or how scared I was in the whole world. Jeez, like hearing his little feet his little sticky feet because we both have hyperhidrosis <laughs> but like things are always wonderful and terrible at the same time and holding the duality of that is what we have to practice not just knowing things are awful it's in it's in knowing both so may this be a beautiful and terrible day for you hey snuggle bear because now um now we know. All right, my loves, may this be a time of ease for you that you're seeing the world as it really is. Have a beautiful, terrible day.